Hello everyone. Today we are going to make experiment how to measure resistance. We know that according to Ohm's law V is equal to IR, V is equal to potential, I is equal to I into R that is I is current and R is the resistance in a circuit according to Ohm's law. Today we are going to measure these resistances. You see how to measure resistance. You see this is our digital multimeter and we know that how to measure resistance with the help of a digital multimeter. You see this is in off position. You see here this knob is in off position and what you can measure with all these I will show you. You know that, that this is the positive the red one is a positive probe and the black one is the negative probe. Now you see what we can measure with this digital multimeter. You see the here the symbol like this wave that means we can measure the AC voltage here and the range is from 200 volt to 750 volt we can measure AC voltage from this this one right. And if you want to measure the DC voltage, then you can measure from here. You see here, this symbol is like this. You see what the straight line symbol. That means you can measure DC voltage with the help of this one, right? And the range is from 200 millivolt, 2000 millivolt, 20 volt, 200 volt, and up to 1000 volt. You can measure with this multimeter, right? Besides that, you will get you can measure current also you see this is the chamber for current right you see you can measure 2000 microampere 20 milliampere to up to 200 milliampere if you want to measure 10 milliampere then you have to take this probe up to here and then you can measure 10 ampere current in this in this right besides this you can see here this is the missed this is the section for measurement of resistance. Here you see you can measure 200 ohm, 2000 ohm, 20 k ohm, 200 k ohm, 2000 k ohm. You can measure in this section the resistances. And here you can see that there are two transistors NPN transistors and PNP transistors. You can measure the PNP and NPN transistors from this and you can get the beta value that is HFE right give beta value HFE and this is the what you can see this is the square wave not only that you will see from here you can see, you can check the continuity here or you can check the different diodes whether they are in proper condition to work with or not now today I am going to show you how to measure the resistance right for that you have to take this knob to here and put it at 200 ohm you see this is in 200 ohm I will measure the resistance uh, of some resistances right let us see if we want to measure the resistance of this one let us see how much resistance it has then you have to take one probe with this end and another probe with the other end and you will see the reading that you can find the reading it is showing 11.10.9 ohm 10.9 ohm but if you see that there it is written here up to uh, here it is see it is written 10 ohm and nearly this is correct right nearly this is correct and we are getting the value of nearly 11.10 11 11 ohm or 10.9 or you can say it is 11 ohm but it is nearly equal to 10 ohm nearly equal right that is it is a resistance of 10 ohm resistance right here you see it is 11.11 11 ohm it is showing 11 ohm right that is it is nearly correct this resistance is 10 ohm or 11 ohm as you can see now if we want to measure this resistance right this resistance let us see how much resistance it has if we put 
take one probe at this point and another probe at the other end and you see that this is nearly 19.7 uh, nearly 20 ohm yes you can see it is exactly 20 ohm you see here you can see here it is 20 ohm right you can see this is 20 ohm that means it is correct and we can measure all these resistances in this way now you can see this resistance i am measuring this resistance and you can see here how much it has the value the value of this resistance is 20 ohm 20.4 that means nearly 20 ohm and you can see from it is written here it is 20 ohm you see here it is 20 ohm right now you in this way you can measure the resistances right here you can also measure there is resistance you see here this is you just put it and you will get the resistance here how much it is nearly 28.4 ohm that is nearly 30 ohm you see and if you see that it is nearly 30 ohms you see here that means we can measure these resistances very accurately with the help of this digital multimeter right besides that we have other types of resistances also we can measure with this with this you see these are various types of resistances we will measure with this uh, digital multimeter let us see how much resistance we can measure with this help of digital multimeter right here you see these are various types of resistances also you see here these are also resistances these are all resistances and we can measure how much resistance it has with the help of digital multimeter let us check the value of these of these resistances right here you see well, we are measuring the resistance of this one right you put one end of the probe and other end of this probe here and you see the value of this resistance the value of this resistance is 11 ohm right you can see that this is 11 ohm resistance let us check once again you put the probe at the two ends and you find that the value of this is 11 ohm right this is 11 ohm this one is 11 ohm right the resistance is 11 ohm let us check this one how much it has the resistance it put the two probe at the two ends and you find the resistances it is 8 ohm right value of this resistance is 8 ohm yes it is 8 ohm 8 ohm resistance right now we will see here that we have two resistances here let us see how much resistance it has Four point. 3 ohm it is 4.3 ohm let us check the other one also it is also 4.3 ohm both are 4.3 ohm resistances right you can measure the other resistance also let us check how much resistance it has if we check this one let us see how much resistance it has it has uh, 3 3 ohm 2.6 2.7 2.5 ohm let us check this one and if we check touch the probe with this and it get 2.5 both are 2.5 ohm resistance right here you can see that other resistance also if we want to measure the resistances of this of these resistances then check it how much it has the value the value of this resistance is 7.5 ohm 7.5 let us check the other ohm resistances and it is also nearly 7.5 ohm both are 7.5 ohm resistances now you see that how to measure the resistance very easily with the help of digital multimeter now you can see we have another variable resistance you see here this is a variable resistance and we also can measure the variable resistance here here in this case let us measure the variable resistance also
it is uh, giving the resistance uh, resistance as one that means that means we have to increase the resistance here right it is uh, from 200 to 2000 ohm right we increase this one this knob up to 2000 ohm and it, let us let us check now Now we are measuring the variable resistance. Now see, we are getting 18 ohm, right? If we change this one, you will see there is a variation in the resistances, right? Here you see, See here, this is a resistance of nearly uh, 30 20 See it is 20 ohm, right? It is 20 ohm. If we increase this resistance, let us see how much it is increasing. You see here, we are increasing this, this is 20 ohm, this is 80, 160 ohm, this is 160 ohm, 159 ohm, we are changing the resistances and you see there is a variable resistances here, right. If we increase this one, let us check how much, it is the value, you see this is 30, 31 ohm, this is 226, 25 ohm, 224, here it is 910 ohm, we want to increase this one, yes it is 1385 ohm, 1383 ohm, now if we change it, it is 1802 ohm. Now it can change it. Yes, it is maximum. Now we cannot change, measure it. Therefore, we can give it to 20k. Right? Now you see how much we are getting now. Now you can see that it is 10 10k. The value of the resistance is 10k. I have increased this one. 15k, 16k. 17k, 18k, 19k, 19k, we can measure up to 19k, you see here, this is the maximum limit is 20k, now if we increase more than this one, then you will get the value here, now you see here, you see, we are getting the value of 10k, 13k, 15k, 17k, 18k, 19k, 21k, 24k, 26k, 2030k, 34k, 37k, 42, 43k, 46k, 54k, 55k, yes it is up to 55k we can change the resistances you can measure the resistance up to 54k right if we change it to the maximum that is 2000k see here we are getting the value as 59k 
if we decrease this one 50k 47k 46k 45k 43k 40k 36k 35k 34 32 31 28 29 26 23 22 18k 14 11k 7k 6k 5 2k right in this way you can measure the variable resistance with the help of this digital multimeter right you can measure very easily with the help of this digital multimeter the various types of resistances now if you measure if you want to increase the resistance then you have to put the resistance in series only then the resistance will be changed or increased how if you, if you put this in series, let us see, it is 20 ohm, it is 10 ohm. If you put it in series connection, how much value you will get? You can measure this one also with this, with this digital multimeter. Here you see, we are putting it in series connection. This red and this blue resistances, we are putting it in series, right? And see, and it will measure how much resistance it has, right? Here you see, we are putting it in series connection. Yes, we have put it in series connection and we we'll see how much um, measurement we can measure with the help of this digital multimeter, right? Let us see. Here you can see that this is uh, 20 ohm and this is 10 ohm, right? And if we put it in series connection, how much resistance we are getting? In series, we know that R is equal to R1 plus R2. That means it will be added up. Let us check whether we are getting the value or not. Now you see, if we change, if we put it in series section, we are getting nearly 38 ohm. That means if you want to increase the resistance, then you have to put it the resistance in series. You see, you are nearly getting 38 to 40 ohm, right? If you want to increase the resistances, then you have to put the resistance in series connection so that the resistance will be increased, right? And if you want to decrease the resistances, then you have to put it in parallel connection. If you put it in parallel connection, then the resistances will be as per, 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 as per the formula that is 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. If you take three resistances R1, R2, R3, if you put it in parallel connection, then the value or equivalent resistance is 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Here you see, if you want to increase the resistances, put it in series connection, right? And if you want it to be in parallel connection, the value of equivalent resistance will be 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Dear friends, if you like this video, 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू अगेन